Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some age gap romance recommendations for you. I absolutely adore an age gap romance. I have a few of these video recommendations already on my channel for you. I believe I have two, so I will link that down below if you have not watched those yet and you would like more recommendations. I feel like age gap is a very popular trope and I love it too, so I can see why. <laughs> so let me get started with these recommendations. We're gonna kind of be going in subgenre. We have a bunch of contemporary, but we also have a paranormal and uh, I think two historical romances towards the later half of the video. The first recommendation that I have is Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This is the first book in the Brutal Birthright series, and this is the romance between Ada and Callum. They are from rivaling mafia families. Callum is from the Irish mafia and Ada is is from the Italian Mafia, I believe. Ada and her brothers end up crashing Callum's little sister's birthday party, and she ends up accidentally setting fire to, I think his library or one room in his house, she accidentally sets fire to it. And in order for their families not to go to war with each other, they agree to marry each other. Very reluctantly, Ada and Callum have to get married. This is a huge, Enemies to lovers romance, Callum is quite older than Ada. Ada in here has a mind of her own though. She will do whatever it takes to kind of sabotage this marriage because she just doesn't like Callum. He's done some pretty sketch things. He hurt her brother at one point and she is not the biggest fan of him, but she's getting married to Callum because there is nothing else she can do. She even tries to kill him at one point during the wedding ceremony. So um, this one is definitely enemies to lovers romance and a great start to a wonderful series by Sophie. Lark. Next is Praise by Sarah Kate. This one is a ex's dad romance. This is the romance between Charlie and Emerson. Charlie was actually dating this guy named Bo and he wasn't the best boyfriend. They ended up breaking up but they were living together and she needs her security deposit back from the apartment they were staying in and Bo was like okay well it's with my dad you're gonna have to go meet up with my dad to get it and so Charlie goes to Emerson's house. Emerson is Bo's dad. But there's like a little bit of a mix up <laughs> with uh, who Emerson thinks Charlie is. He's actually looking for a sub to work in his office for him because um, him and his business partners own this club, this certain type of club. And he thinks that Charlie is said sub. And so when he comes into the room, he's like, why aren't you on your knees waiting for me? And she's like, uh, what? <laughs> what he's like you want your money don't you like get on your knees not knowing that this is his son's ex-girlfriend and she's like okay well i need this money so she gets on her knees and then it kind of gets revealed like who she actually is and he's mortified he's like i'm so sorry i thought you were somebody else here's your money you can go i am so sorry but ever since that point but ever since that encounter charlie cannot get emerson out of her head and Emerson cannot stop thinking about Charlie. And he ends up hiring her as his actual assistant in order to hopefully get closer to his son. But he won't admit that he also wants to get to know Charlie more. This one was so great. I really need to read the rest of the books in the series because they are just fantastic as well. I know book four is also another age gap romance. Oh, and book two. I don't think book three is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think book two and book four definitely are. I own all the books in the series now because I met Sarah Kate at Wanderlust and so I am so excited to marathon all these books hopefully soon. Another contemporary is Everything For You by Chloe Lees. This is book five in her Bergman Brothers series. This is an MM sports romance as well and enemies to lovers grumpy sunshine. It has so many of my favorite tropes in here. This is the romance between Gavin and Oliver. Oliver in here is the Bergman brother. He is a part of the family you've been reading about in the other books in the series and he is a very very talented soccer player. He has just been asked to be the co-captain for his amazing soccer team and the other captain is Gavin. Gavin has actually been playing uh, soccer for a while and he is unfortunately close to retirement and he's not very happy about it. He is actually going through a lot of chronic pain because of what his body has been through the past couple of years being a soccer player. And actually when Oliver was young, he used to have pictures of Gavin, like posters of him around his room because he was like so in awe of him and had a huge crush on him as a kid. Like he was playing professional soccer when Oliver was a kid, so there is an age gap in here. But Gavin is not very happy about Oliver being um, asked to be his co-captain because 
he's very jealous of him. He's like, here's this young new guy coming in about to take my spot as captain and I am jealous. I wish I had a body like his now. My body is falling apart. He's also very reluctant to get to know him because he's very attracted to Oliver. He's also the, like the complete opposite of him. Oliver is very sunshiny and a people pleaser and like just loves people. Gavin is the complete opposite. Anyway, that's all I can say about this without like spoiling anything, but this book is just fantastic and so sweet. I absolutely love this one. Another 2022 favorite for me is Broken Whispers by Mia Baltak. This is book two in her Perfectly Imperfect series. Sorry for the glare, y'all. I'm gonna try and tilt it a little bit. <laughs> this is book two in Mia Baltak's Mafia Romance series. And this is the romance between Mikhail and Bianca. So Mikhail is kind of like the right-hand man to the Bratva boss, so the Russian mafia leader. His boss is basically having a meeting with a bunch of his guys. And it's like, okay, I need someone here to marry the um, daughter to the head of the Italian mafia, I believe. And Mikhail immediately volunteers because he knows it is Bianca. Bianca is a very talented ballerina who just had to go into retirement because of an injury that happened to her a couple years ago. Her body is not able to keep up with it anymore. And she also sustained another injury during that accident to where um, her vocal cords have been damaged really badly and it hurts to talk. Like she is in excruciating pain anytime she talks. And so she communicates through ASL. Mikhail has actually been admiring Bianca from afar because he's gone to many of her ballet performances and just thinks she is the most beautiful woman in the entire world. There is an age difference between the two of them. And Mikhail is also a single father. Anyway, the two of them have to get an arranged marriage together and have to learn to live with each other at first and get to know each other and then they slowly fall in love. This book was just so good. It's one of my favorite mafia romances ever. I'm more of a sweet reader instead of an angsty reader so take with that what you will. <laughs> Bianca and Mikhail in here are totally soulmates and this one was just beautiful. Next is My Dad's Best Friend by Katie Robert. I believe this whole series is like full of age gap romances so definitely check this series out if you haven't yet. This is her Touch of Taboo series. This is the romance between Blake and Jonas. Blake is just, I think, taking over her father's architecture company and Jonas is her dad's best friend. And she basically goes, drives to Jonas's house in order to ask him to help her with a project that uh, she's working on because Jonas is one of the most amazing, talented architect people, architects in the, in the country. And so she goes to him for advice, but then there's a storm and Blake has to spend the night at his house. The two of them have to maybe confront the feelings that they've had for each other for a while. This is very forbidden, very hot. Obviously this is her dad's best friend, but if you just want a good fun, quick read. This is definitely one you should pick up. I have two novellas for you if you're interested in novellas. First is Big Boss by Cassie Mint. This one is just so fun. I love it. I love it so much. So our heroine in here, she has her best friend who is her college roommate. And so said roommate and best friend asks the heroine to go on winter break with her, like to stay at her house with her dad over winter break. And so said best friend is out sometimes out of the house. I think she has like a winter break job, I'm pretty sure. And so for a lot of the book, a lot of her stay at this house, the heroine and her best friend's dad are alone together in the house. And they spend time together, they get to know each other, and then they slowly start to fall in love, even though the both of them have like had crushes on each other, honestly, they've never done anything about it because of their connection and the forbiddenness between the two. But in this forced proximity situation, they cannot help themselves. This one is obviously very forbidden and just like a great novella that I loved escaping into. Another very forbidden one is Bulky by Jessica Kane. Josie is an 18 year old and she has her like best friend who's a guy. They have been best friends since she was in middle school, but ever since middle school, she has thought her best friend's dad, Gunner, like the hottest thing ever. <laughs> and so it comes a point where Josie just graduated high school and she is going to go out on a limb and try to seduce Gunner. Gunner is very attracted to Josie, but thinks this is very forbidden because this is his son's best friend and he's known her for years. But there comes a point in the book where he finally has to admit his feelings. And so they cannot let each other go after that point. It gets revealed to his son, their whole situation is very forbidden, a large age gap here. So 
yeah, I really, really liked this one. The paranormal one that I have for you is Shift Just Got Real by Ruby Dixon. This is one of her books in the Bear Bites, like Bear Shifter romance series she has. She has like five or six books in there. And I gave all of them three stars besides this one. So this is like the only one that I really recommend for the series, honestly. So this is the age gap romance between Ryan and Mal. Ryan is a human woman in a town that is predominantly filled with bear shifters or shifters of different kinds. And yeah, Mal is one of those shifters. He is quite older than Ryan. He is grocery shopping one day and he ends up finally scenting his mate. He's like, oh my gosh, I found her. Where is she? He's like looking through the aisles. He's trying to find her and then he realizes who it is he realizes it is ryan and he is mortified because she is underage at that point he's like no i am not doing that to a little girl like no no not happening and so he goes and goes to become a recluse in the mountains in their town for many years then this book jumps to years later where ryan is now i believe like 21 and ryan has been actually like longing for mal for years and um she ends up across him injured in the woods one day he accidentally stepped on a bear trap in his human form she goes to take care of him and seal up his wound and then the dam finally breaks and they reveal their feelings and this was just a really sweet paranormal romance with great pining and just a great age gap aspect in there i have two historic romances for you first is the chasing of eleanor vane by sarah simone this is actually a standalone historical novella which you don't see a lot of so i really like that this is the romance between eleanor and ajax so eleanor is betrothed to marry this guy he is kind of rakish he's gross doesn't really care about Eleanor she is not into him at all I believe at her like betrothal dinner or something or engagement dinner or something along those lines she ends up meeting that guy's uncle Ajax and she is completely smitten with him the moment that she sees him and Ajax is obsessed with her the moment that he sees her but it's obviously quite forbidden because that's her fiance's freaking uncle eleanor is going through some personal things and just thinks like she is going to be stifled like snuffed out with this marriage and so she decides to run away but she ends up running away in the moors of scotland i believe and it is like pouring rain and Ajax goes to find her, follow her, find her, and save her because like anyone could die in a storm like this. And he decides to take her to an abandoned cabin on the estate and have his wicked way with her. This was so fun. I really enjoyed it and I really recommend it. And the last one that I have for you is another novella. I love novellas, if you could not tell. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, Scandalous Dissolute No Good Mr. Right by Tessa Dare. This is another standalone historical novella. So yes, this is an age gap romance, but I feel like in historical times it wasn't like that big of a deal. So take with that what you will, but I just will find an excuse to recommend this novella because it is so stinking cute. And like, this is one of my favorite books with banter in it. Like the banter between these two is just fantastic. So this is a romance between Eliza and Mr. Harry Wright. Eliza has three older sisters who all have to get married before she is able to go out into society. So she's waiting quite a long time. And Mr. Wright is kind of like the town rake. He's infamously known as a rake. But once he sets his eyes on Eliza, he wants no one else but her. The chemistry between these two, fantastic, phenomenal. And so the heroine does not really care for Mr. Wright at first because of all the rumors about him and rumors about him being a rake, but those might only be rumors. And we might have a innocent, innocent hero on our hands here, um, which are my favorite. <laughs> but Mr. Wright in here definitely gave me Mr. Darcy vibes, so. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 age gap romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to, and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a panda emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day.